know anything about Kane. He seems to have a lot of secrets. That makes me nervous. Long ago, Diablo and his brothers were cast out of Hell by the lesser evils. It seems that Hell's balance has shifted, as Andariel is now aligned with the Lord of Terror. Her presence here in the mortal realm does not bode well for us. Charcy seems to be a very sweet girl. She's the smith around here and can help you by trading weapons and armor. Oh, I like Geed. He's very funny. He has all sorts of interesting stories from the places he's been. I wish I could see the sights he has. Akara is the rogue's high priestess. She sells the few magic items in her possession and can even heal your wounds. She is very wise and will help you if she can. If we could only find out how Andariel has managed to corrupt our sisters, then perhaps we could drive out the evil clouding their minds. Charcy is young and innocent. However, I believe her barbarian blood thrills to the prospect of adventure and danger. She takes great pride in her work and finds comfort in the fact that her weapons and armor are helping to end this evil plague. Charcy is a fine girl, oh, but she has no business savvy. I know she means well, but the prices she charges for weapons and armor will never earn her a profit. As long as I keep filling her mind with stories of adventure, she'll never catch on to the fact that I'm raking in gold hand over fist. Some evenings we gather at the bonfire to retell epic tales and try to forget about the terrible events that led to losing the monastery. War Reeve's all right, I guess. He seems too serious most of the time. I haven't really talked to him all that much. Warive was kind enough to let me travel with his caravan, but don't let him drag you into a search for a new eastern trade route. I'm making a fortune right here. Yeah, from the rogues, of course. You, on the other hand, always get my best prices. It takes time to master your skills, and use will hone your technique. But take care to choose your new skills wisely. Perhaps Tristram deserved its fate for letting evil loose upon the land. I only hope we don't suffer the same. Kasha has always been fiercely loyal, but I fear her anger and frustration over these recent events will lead her into harm's way. She is highly protective of the few rogues remaining under her command and will not send them into combat unless there is dire need. Geed is a wandering merchant of questionable character who is traveling along with my caravan to the east. He will buy and sell most anything. He's greedy, but his wares are beyond reproach. I would suggest keeping both eyes open when you deal with him. Long ago, the Soul Stones were given to the Haradrim by the Archangel Tyriel. They were used to bind the three prime evils. I now know that even these holy artifacts were no match for Diablo's power. I hope that his two brothers are more securely held, but I fear the worst. I often dream of the day we reclaim our own. The sightless eye sees through the mist of time a great glory ahead. But how far ahead, the eye cannot discern. Our mental discipline is matched only by our skill in archery. I only hope these are enough to withstand this awful trial. Geed is a pig. I've been tempted to throw him out of the camp many times, but Charcy seems to think that he's good company. I don't trust the man, but if she is comforted by him, then I'll desist. When or if I get to loot Galen, I'm gonna find the largest bowl of gnarled weed and smoke till all earthly sense has left my body. The fiery Kasha commands the rogue archers in battle. I've only spoken to her a few times, though. I get the feeling that she doesn't like outsiders very much. <laughs> 